So of course I'm a Philadelphia Eagles fan, guys. I live in Philadelphia, what else would I be? Um, this is my Eagles hat. I'm sure many of you guys are gonna have stuff to say about that. I wanna know what your favorite team is. Who do you root for, whether it's football or basketball, or baseball or hockey or whatever? Write in the comments who your favorite team is. Guys, we are talking about the health benefits of sports because I personally believe there's a lot of benefits to watching sports. And by the way, this is your permission slip to watch sports on TV or in person or whatever. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. I'm a practicing family physician. I'm an on-air health expert and video creator. First thing, first benefit is the stress reduction. Oh my gosh. Watching games is so much fun. It's not only stress reduction, but it's entertainment, right? I mean, talk about like woosah, like sort of releasing the stress, kind of getting rid of the day or the week's stress and just settling in and watching a good game. It's entertaining, it's a lot of fun, it's stress relief. Watching games is pretty freaking awesome. Also, I would I would also say that uh, there's camaraderie involved in watching games, right? Uh, what do we do? No matter whether you're with people you know or people you've never met before, there's a sense of togetherness that we get from watching sports games. When you're rooting for the same team, you don't care who that person is. You're high-fiving them, you're doing all sorts of stuff, you're celebrating. Um, there can be a real sense of camaraderie that comes with watching sports, uh, which is actually really kind of cool and doesn't always Always exist in other spheres and my argument is that by the way this is going to help our health uh, the other thing is I would say I would argue that there's a little bit of cardio activity that comes with watching sports now look you could be sedentary all week which by the way we want you to move around and be active don't get me wrong but let's say you're sedentary all week when your favorite team is playing and if there's a major play that you see chances are you're gonna be on your feet you might be yelling at the TV or what have you moving around waving your arms guys that's cardio activity, and the family doctor and me will take whatever cardio activity I can get, okay? Uh, that is super important. So, and maybe you're more, like, maybe you're more elaborate than that. I mean, maybe you start running in place or doing other things when you're excited. I don't know. But cardio activity can actually come with a little bit of sports watching, uh, let me say. Um, the other thing is it gives us something to look forward to. And by the way, in this day and age, man, Man, do we need stuff to look forward to. Sports games can be the best. Looking forward and looking forward to the game on the weekend or the Olympics or the soccer game or NBA finals or whatever it is can be the best thing in the world because it gives us something to look forward to. It gives us a fun, positive activity um, to sort of prepare for in the future. Uh, and the other thing is this idea of bringing people together, which is similar to my other suggestion of camaraderie, but bringing people together. I mean, look, the truth of the matter is, is games literally brings people together physically. People will come to go to a bar or a restaurant or to someone's home to watch a game that literally brings people out of their shells and into the space and the company of other people. Uh, we know that being lonely uh, is not really good for our, for our minds and our hearts, okay? Being with other people, um, even if social distancing is actually a very good thing. So sports can actually bring people together as we know, and that's positive, and I absolutely love that. Now, of course, I have to be honest, now sometimes sports and coming together for sports also brings out really unhealthy dips and chips and, and drinks and all that kind of stuff, so yeah, we want, we want to be as healthy as possible, but coming together overall is a very good thing. And I would say uh, maybe the last thing that is uh, that I sometimes may see or, or think can happen from watching uh, sports on TV or watching a game is inspired athleticism. I mean, look, you might watch the game and say, oh, I'm going to get out my cleats again. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to play another pickup game of basketball or I'm going to get back on the ice or I'm going to call my buddies and see if they want to play uh, baseball or soccer or whatever. And you know what? That's okay, too. In fact, it's better than okay. That's pretty awesome. Uh, so, you know, the family doctor and me, honestly, I say watching sports can actually be a pretty good thing. So what do I want to know? Well, of course, I want to know what you think about this video. But even more so, I want to know who your favorite team is, who you root for, who you're rooting for, and what um, what sport is like your sport. Are you a football season person, a basketball season person? Are you an Olympic season? Are you a golf person? Who are you? And who do you root for? That's what I want to know. Write that in the comments. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. I'm a practicing family physician and on-air health expert and video creator. I'm also an Eagles fan, I confess. <laughs> Guys, if you have not liked and followed my page, I invite you to do so. For those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.